Hello, welcome to my MAC blushes collection. I fairly recently just started collecting MAC blushes. I've had one for probably over 10 years, and um, the rest are fairly new. So here we go. This is my original one. This is called Blush Baby. And it's interesting, I had gotten a MAC over, a MAC over, a makeover at MAC, um, and this was the color they picked for me. I would never pick this color normally because it's very brown looking in the pan. And I am not a brown kind of a person. Here's the color. And it doesn't even really look like much, even on my finger right there. I mean, it kind of like blends with my skin tone. But it is absolutely... Let me turn this a little bit. Nope, that didn't do it. <laughs> This is absolutely beautiful on. It's right there and you can't even really see it. It's probably about as best as you'll get. Like I said, one of those um, interesting ones that looks like nothing swatched, looks like nothing in the pan, but gorgeous on. I always like how I look in it. This next one is from the Novel Romance Animal Instincts Collection. No, I'm sorry. Novel Romance Collection, not Animal Instincts. It's called Animal Instincts. And this is, again, it's kind of a brownie burgundy. Everyone tells me, I have not used this yet, this is brand new. Everyone tells me that this is ugly swatched, but beautiful on, so I took their word for it. You know, let me turn this around here. It's, yeah, better, better light there, so. Here's Animal Instincts. It's got a frost to it, which is interesting. I don't really have blushes with frost in it. So there's Blush Baby and Animal Instincts. Okay. Still in, like, the brownish family, we have the um, Alluring Aquatic Collection. I have both blushes. One is Seduced at Sea. There is a swatch. This one looks very orangey on my hand. It's pretty on. It's not one of my favorites, though, by far. That one kind of lo looks a little frosty to me. Maybe it's because the specialty, what are they called? Extra Dimension. Yeah. And then the other one, which I like better, is called See Me, Hear Me. This one's definitely more pinker. They actually look kind of similar on the hand. Here's them right next to each other. You can tell it's got a slightly rosier hue than that one. Okay, moving on into the more fun, colorful, pinky ones. Going out of there. We have Full of Joy. And I actually got this one because I saw a review on it on a Friday Favorites on Lip Gloss Leslie's website. She's gotten me to buy a lot. Beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. It's like a purpley, frosty pink. Ooh, and it's so pigmented. Look at that. It's gorgeous. I love it. Okay, next... I actually had to wind up buying this one on eBay because I missed out. This is the Sharon Osborne Peaches and Cream Blush. Glad I got it, though. Very pretty. By the way, here's the swatch of the last one. And then here's the swatch of the Peaches and Cream. Yeah, the Sharon one, definitely a little more wearable than the... Here it is right there. Than the very frosty pink, but I love bright blushes. Okay, next up we have the Peony Petal, and that's another one I got because of Lip Gloss Leslie. Here's a swatch. I swear my dogs have to bark in every video I do. This is kind of in between. This is more of a softer pink but not as rosy as the peaches and cream one, and not as bright as the Full of Joy. Wait, which one's Full of Joy? Yeah, Full of Joy was the very pinky one. Okay, next up, 
Bread for Beauty. This was, which collection was this? You know, I'm losing track of the collections Mac has. They've had so many recently. But this was part of one of the collections. Now, talk about vibrant. Look at that puppy. Here's the other one. Wow, very bright on. Look at that. It's like fuchsia. Gorgeous. So, I, in case you can't tell, I like the pinks <laughs> the best. And then here's the Simpsons one I just got. And this is the pink sprinkles. Least pigmented of all the MAC blushes. Here's the color. So you can barely see it. All the others, one swatch and bam, you get all that color. This one, it's like nothing. But I actually, it builds very well. I did it on my cheeks the other day and it took about three layers, but it got a really decent, pretty pink color. So. There is my MAC collection. Hope you enjoyed and please subscribe.